Welcome back to Titans All Access. It's time for Talking Ball, presented by Duncan, and we are joined by Titans senior writer editor for TennesseeTitans.com, Jim Wyatt. Jim, not a ton of bright spots in Sunday's game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, but the Titans were able to get the run game going. How did Derrick Henry and the rest of the Titans offense really capitalize on that going into the Chargers week? Well, I think it starts with just kind of staying in the game and setting the tone early. And you know, things looked gr good early against Jacksonville. I think Derrick had 96 yards after the first quarter, was sitting at 17 rushing attempts you know, at the half. And then as the game kind of went the other way and the Titans were playing catch up, they had to abandon the run and he just didn't get a lot of opportunity. So what's important for the Titans is to, to try to, you know, establish the run early, don't turn the ball over, stay in the game, and then you can you know, allow yourself to have more rushing opportunities. Titans linebacker Monty Rice had 12 tackles last Sunday. Does that make that a breakout game for him? I think so. You know, it's funny, I asked Mike Vrabel the Friday before the game about Monty Rice and said he needed to see an uptick from him. That was his term. And, uh, and then Monty Rice comes out and he has a, has a very productive game. I think Monty, a guy who has not played a whole lot of snaps, and we know he spent you know, a lot of time kind of rehabbing and, and watching film and trying to get himself in a position to return, he just had to play a lot of football. So I think the more he's out there, the more opportunity he gets, the better he's going to get. I think they were pleased with what they saw from him, but now he's got to do it week in and week out. As you look at the Chargers offense, who sticks out to you the most? Well, I mean, the quarterback is phenomenal. Justin Herbert, just the way he run, you know, he can move in the pocket. He can make throws. He threw the ball 51 times in the game against the Dolphins. He's, I think he has, you know, 21 300-yard passing games already in his career. So it starts with him and just his ability to make throws all over the field. And But then you've got Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, uh, Josh Palmer, another guy who's very productive. They've got size at the receiver position. They've got some shifty guys. And then Austin Eckler, uh, just how productive he is, it's really incredible because he's not only having a lot of success running the football, he's catching the ball out of the backfield. I think he's got 96 catches already this season, which is, uh, which is unheard of for a running back. So they have some offensive weapons that the Titans are going to have to be able to deal with. For the Titans offense, you have to imagine that one of their key jobs is going to be making sure that they know where outside linebacker Khalil Mack is at all times. Yeah, because he's a game wrecker. You know, they're one of those types of guys that Mike Vrabel talks about. You got to find out where they are. Titans have had some issues in protection here uh, in recent weeks. You know, they've got to be able to kind of play with the lead to, and not be in third and long situations where a guy like Mack can kind of pin his ears back and get after you. You know, watching their game against, you know, Miami, they, you know, they had some struggles stopping the run in recent weeks, but I thought they were a lot better from a defensive standpoint and being able to stop the run. So that's a challenge for the Titans because that's an area they're going to have to be successful. What are the keys to the Titans getting the victory against the Los Angeles Chargers this Sunday? Well, I think I'm going to pick up just where I left off there. I think running the football, I think, is key, you know, because if you can establish the run, uh, you're not able to, you're not putting Ryan Tannehill in a position where they can come after him. You're able to keep the ball away from the Chargers offense. I think that's one not turning the ball over is a big key. I mean, you turn the ball over four times like the Titans did against Jacksonville, that's a recipe for trouble. So you can't go out to LA and do that. And I think third, get back to playing defense like we've seen the Titans play in the weeks when they've gone well, and that's getting after the quarterback. Herbert, I think, has been sacked 30 times this year. We've mentioned some of the weapons that they have. You've got to be able to hit him. You've got to be able to um, you know, get your hand up, knock some balls down, create some turnovers, get back to doing some of the things the Titans did during their run of success. And if the Titans are able to do that, I think they've got a chance to get out of there with a win.